C. Lindelof videos, AP Calculus, volume, when the region R is the base of a solid, which sounds kind of weird, but let's take a look at this for a second. Here's the question that they give us on the exam, and what we're work looking at right now is this section right here, if you don't mind. We're looking at this, and this is what they're saying. They're saying that the region R is the base of a solid. So there's this solid that comes up out of here. If I was a good artist, I could draw the three-dimensional thing, and it's, it's a block, and the, bo the bottom of this block of wood or whatever it is looks like this, and it comes up like that and I wish I was a good artist but I'm not for this out each cross section perpendicular is perpendicular to the x-axis is a square so this is what this is saying perpendicular to the x-axis just means that we have this I'm going to draw this at first in broken line so you can see because we're not counting this part we're looking at this cross section right here but it doesn't count because it's not in our shaded region but it does count here so I'll make it solid right here and this is the top view of a square. However, if you were to look at it from the side view, if you were to look at it from this direction, what you would see is you would see this orange top right here, and it would have sides. And if you will forgive me, I'm suggesting to you that this picture is of a square, so sorry. But what happens is this thing is picked up and put down here, and then what happens is there's another square after that, and here's the top of that square, maybe here. And these squares are infinitely close to one another. But as you can see, the base keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as you get to here, right? So maybe this one looks like this. This is the top view of it. Maybe the side view of it looks like this. It's a little bit. But nonetheless, it is square. So if you're buying all that. And we're going to keep putting all of those things in until we get to whatever the very last one is. And it would be this one right here, and here's the top view of that. And let's pretend that you think I'm a really good artist. And so the side view of that would be this, wouldn't it? Right? But we're looking we're looking down onto this thing. We're not looking at it from a side. But if we were, that's what we'd see. Yes? Okay. So this is not a very hard idea at all to, to actually come up with. All we have to do is ask ourselves from where to where. And it says here that we're going from x is 0 to x is 2. So we need to say this. We need to say that our area is equal to the definite integral. No, it's not area. It's our volume. Our volume is equal to the definite integral from 0. If you put A there instead of V, you're going to lose your point. So I never should have said that. This is a volume question, so it has to be a V there. The definite integral of, now you have to ask yourself this question, because we're going to put the top minus the bottom. So. Can we agree if we're looking at this? This is this curve right here, y is equal to 6, is always on top of this curve right here. And this curve right here is, isn't it 4ln? Yeah, 4ln of 3 minus x. So can you see that this curve here is on top of this one everywhere that you look? That's really, really important because if you set it up backwards, then it's counted as wrong. So it's 6 minus, so f of x being f of x being a top curve, minus the bottom curve, which is 4ln of 3 minus x, whole thing dx. And this is g of x, not because I say it's g of x, because g of x, the second one we list, is the bottom, is the bottom. And this is a three-point question. The whole page is worth about nine points, but this question itself is worth three points. And of those three points, this is two of them. This is two of them, and I forgot to square this thing. Why would I square it? Because isn't it true that a square is base times base? So if this, was, if this is the base here, the, this base is the same as its height. So if this is x, this would also be x, etc. right? So that's what we get. After that, you just evaluate this thing using your calculator. This is a calculator section. And you use your calculator. And you would get V is equal to 26.266. Only reason I'm showing you this is because when you give a number on the AP exam, if it's not rounded to the thousands place, they nick your point. So out of three points, if you put this, if you're like, you know what, I'm going to round this to this, not okay. Six, six. I don't know what the next digit was. If the next digit makes would make this round up to 7, then this is okay to use. 
But my suggestion would be don't even bother rounding. Just leave it. You're allowed to just leave it at the thousands place. So I would strongly suggest that you do that. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. This exam is something you can definitely win at. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks, you guys. Peace.